Israel and India are partnering to make an anti-submarine shared torpedo defense system to keep away China and Pakistan from the Indian seas. On Thursday of January 2021, it was announced on the sidelines of the Aero India 2021 that the Indian company Bharat Dynamic Limited would team up with Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems for joint induction of the shared anti torpedo defense system for the Indian Navy. A torpedo hit can be potentially catastrophic for the submarine underwater as the destructive effect of the warhead is compounded by the pressure of the water at depth of 100 meters or more. Submarines can face torpedo attack from other submarines, surface warships, or anti-submarine helicopters and aircraft. And India's submarine threats environment is growing. Pakistan is scheduled to induct from 2023 the first of the eight Chinese-designed diesel-electric submarines. According to a report from the U.S. Congressional Research Service on China's naval modernization in 2021, predicted that by 2025, Beijing could have 55 diesel electric submarines and 10 nuclear attack submarines in service. The same report estimates China could have more than 150 major subface warships capable of anti submarine operation by 2025. The Indian Navy's submarine modernization program has been plagued by the slow progress of induction of Scarpani class submarines, forcing the country to rely on the Russian built Kilo class and German origin type 209 HZW submarines, which were all inducted into service in the 1980s and 1990s. Still now, there is no big budget allocated for its military. In the allocated budget, Indian Navy has a very little or no budget among the other armed forces. So how does a shared torpedo work? Rafael described shared as a torpedo defense suit for submarines that will protect these underwater vessels from all types of incoming torpedoes, which rely on the sonar signals. Rafael notes, shared will be the first system in the world to employ a combination of soft kill and hard kill decoys, thereby providing a robust and effective defense against modern torpedoes. Hard kill decoys are the weapons that impact on the incoming torpedo or the missile directly and destroy it, while the soft kill decoys use radio waves or sound waves to decide an incoming torpedo or missile. The shared suit offers multiple decoy options such as the scatter and turbuster. The scatter, which is a soft kill decoy, is a mini torpedo in appearance and has an onboard sonar receiver and library. When launched from the submarine by the shared suit against an enemy torpedo, the scatter uses its library to classify the type of torpedo fired against the submarine. The scatter then transmits several deception sonar signals to present alternative targets to the incoming torpedo. According to Raphael, the scatter has a goal of wasting the incoming torpedo energy away from the target submarine. The turbuster, like the scatter, also appears like a mini torpedo. The turbuster is, however, a hard kill decoy that targets an incoming torpedo and detonates to destroy it. The decoy used in the shared systems are stored in a small launchers on board the submarine. Rafael claims shared can enable carriage of up to 32 decoys. Interestingly, the reports in 2019 said Pakistan had purchased an anti torpedo defense system from Turkey called the Zarangna for its submarines. The Zarangna relies on jammers and decoys and maneuvering to evade a torpedo attack. So what do you think of India and Israel are partnering to make an anti-submarine shared torpedo defense system to keep away China and Pakistan's navy out of Indian Ocean? The Indian news agency ANI has reported that US military drones arrived in India in the second week of November and were inducted into flying operations for Indian military. China is scared of India's Tejas and Rafale fighter jets 
and it's increasing its 3.5 generation J-16 fighter jets deployments towards India-China border. On November 21 of 2020, at the Indian Navy base at INS Rajali, the US armed and surveillance drones landed in India. The development comes almost a month after the high-profile visit of the US Secretary of State Mike Pompei and then Defense Secretary Mark Esper to India for the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. Soon after the signing of the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement during the US official visit, reports had emerged that the People's Liberation Army's Western Tatar Command, which is in charge of the LSA, is said to be commissioning J-16 Chinese fighter jets aircraft in the country's western region, or which is near the India-China border. It appears to be part of the WTC's efforts to upgrade the weaponry and logistics for its forces deployed along the LAC. The sources have also underlined that amid the border tension with China, India has witnessed support from the US. The Becca signed during the top diplomat's visit is aimed at strengthening military ties between New Delhi and Washington. The current induction of the American origin drones to the Indian military has come under the emergency procurement powers granted by the India's Defense Minister because of India-China border conflict. The sources also told that the drones have already started flying operations and with an endurance capability of being in air for 30 hours, they are providing to be the big asset for the maritime force and land force. Both the Indian and the Chinese militaries have deployed more troops and weaponries besides the strengthening infrastructure in the border areas along the LAC amid the worst boundary tensions with China in decades in the eastern Ladakh sector. But the soldiers from the two countries have been locked in a face-off since May of 2020. The Indian Air Force is operating five newly bought Rafale fighter jets in the Ladakh region and another three set of Rafale jets are landed in the northeast of India. While the several diplomatic talks failing, Chinese deploying more of J-16 raises the tension in the border. The J-16 is modeled on a Russian fighter jet series but fitted with Chinese equipment. Although the J-20 is China's more advanced fighter jet, the PLA Air Force still needs J-16 as a second type of fighter jets to take on India's indigenous fourth-generation lightweight combat jet Tejas. The J-16 fighter jet of China is painted with the latest version of the low observable coatings, which experts said are developed to lower the chances of warplanes being detected by the radars. So what do you think of India sending its air forces and land forces near the northeast of Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim border to China, and China is increasing its J-16 fighter jets in the border area amid the new tension between India and China in the northeast.